Hey there, welcome back to my Another Brick in the Mall gameplay series. I'm Icon and today we will expand our little grocery store a tad bit further. Research-wise we are soon hitting logistics and last few days were quite rough for our little shop. We didn't really make any profits because, well, somehow our sales went down. sometimes rather hard to tell for me with this game why exactly that's happening but we're gonna get there for sure meanwhile let's wait until the store is reopening probably gonna check out the demand ratios as well fast food fresh meat I just want to check out if there are any here for example bottled water we could amp up on that if there are any potentials I could fulfill a little bit more. Let's go for a shelf of bottled water. And probably, let's see what kind of product we could take there as well. Because bottled water ain't really a strong profit item, but nevertheless, obviously people want that. So breakfast cereals, why not? Okay, let's roll forward. Are we now a gross grocery store? Oh, look at that. Due to the fact that I installed enough uh, food shelves now, we gained the rank of a grocery store. Let's see if that saves the business or if it doesn't really do anything here. Some items come don't come in higher tiers, for example, bottled water always is the same tier. And we missed parking opportunities. Well, that early in the during the day and our parking lot is already fill, filled with uh, customers. There's also the Christmas season upon us. Oh, no wonder. Okay. Christmas doesn't really uh, count, I'd say. Now, unlocks coffee shops. Hmm. Marketing. Big data. That's not that important. Cleaning technology. Unlocks automatic floor scrubbers for my janitors. That's all alternative thingies. A chemical supplier. That's a good thing. With a chemical supplier, we unlock a really large amount of extra products as well. There we go. So we're slowly getting towards the positives, but only slowly. It's really hard during the early phase of the game to acquire profits here. So Christmas season, we obviously lose customers, but I think that's just part of the part of the thing. It's Christmas after all. Okay, now we are going to build a few units of road work, but also I want to remove one block of road works or one block of uh, parking slots here, because I want to have an extra road here connecting with these. So. Just leave a few slots open so people don't have to drive all the way around here. After all, customers hate waiting. There we go. Let's hope the night shift will be uh, getting there. We actually managed to make profits yesterday. Would be a shame if I wouldn't be making profits during uh, Christmas, actually. Okay, garbage collection strike will begin in, an hour, in a day. Let's see if we're uh, going to suffer from rats during that time or not. My builder didn't really finish his job. Just what I have expected. Oh, also, we should be able to... Let's see, I'm pretty sure that I don't need 
to shop clerks any longer. There. Fire. Bang. That should do something here. Due to the logistics upgrade, my logistics personnel can now carry a lot, a lot more products per tour, so I don't think I'll need two clerks. If I do, oh, well, never mind, I do. I just uh, realize how empty the store already is, and no chance. But at least we get a better one compared to the last time. Okay, whatever. We seem to need it. All right. Still parking uh, lot shortages. That's quite crazy, gotta say. Profit-wise, slowly getting there. Oh, well. It's looking quite good, though. So, how many people did we lose here? Eight people did we lose due to full queues. Jeez. Alright. Off to the shift planning we go. So, the crazy thing here is... We still have... Not enough personnel here during this phase. From 18, we need more people during this phase, okay. So, I don't really want people to work longer than 8 hours. There's no reason to do so. So, the newest cashier will be only working... So... Ah, the problem is not with the... Not, so, not only with the personnel, we also have not enough... Uh, cash terminals here so let's open another uh, checkout terminal that should work all right there we go so we need a sixth a sixth terminal Now we got... You see there's 11 sales per hour or such. I don't know how this really counts, but let's see what that'll do. Should be better now. But I don't want to be too sad about everything here. We did manage to get us some profits yesterday, so I'm quite happy. Let's just hope we can refill the stocks early enough. Okay, Valentine's Day features a lot of things I don't have. Okay. So I hope I'll be able to open a new store rather soonish. People are complaining about the, uh, an, the lack of an opportunity to eat. I wonder if I should do that. There we go. Let's see what that'll change. But this is definitely not the starter store I, I began with. So we got our chemical supplier online. There's still a lot of other things we could do, but for now I want to start and research a bar or a coffee shop. Let's go, let's start out with a coffee shop. All right. So here's now the difficult question for me. 
we have now access to new products. But do I want to kick out the grocery store status or not? That's the big question mark for me. But let's wait out today first because I want to check out how my new cashier strategy is working out. We didn't have any lost sales and we also managed to do profit at the end of the day. So not even that worker here will will get that down. The vending machine, by the way, uh, does a lot of uh, profit by this at this point. Nice. Okay, so only a low amount of profit, but at least we turn uh, we turn some profit now. It's pretty cool. So let's uh, go for let's build new foundations. I'm still not convinced by the idea of um, making this one a, into a grocery store because I feel like we're just not there yet. For a grocery store, I feel like I would need much larger dimensions for the store to make things work. At least that's my opinion here. So we're going to do some more shelves here. Where we're going to sell all the uh, chemical products we just uh, gathered from the chemical supplier. Ah, of course, we need to assign that into the store zone. Silly me, there we go. All right. Detergents. Soap and shampoo. Cosmetics. There's a ton of new items now with this uh, new supplier. Oops, I didn't want to go for light bulbs. Deodorants. Shaving creams. Oh, there's only one shelf lacking. Okay. Yeah, whatever. Let's place it down here. It's looking a little bit odd, but who? What little do I care? There we go. I like the centralized storage here. Probably we're going to use this area later down the road for extra storage. No, not probably, most likely. But for now, let's try out and see what that'll do. Valentine's Day will be in a, here in a few days, so... I don't know, I, I feel like this logistics upgrade didn't do anything. Why? Did I misunderstand something there? Allows deliveries of four crates at a time instead of two. So it must be the delivery thing here and not my uh, stock clerks. Logistics didn't do anything for the stock clerks, it only did something for... Uh, Alright, good to know. Can't say that, it's, uh, that it would be intuitive. So as you see now, all these products are now back to tier 1. Because we're not no longer a grocery store. But from my experience, that didn't really make much of a difference in terms of profits on these uh, food stuffs. I think that the grocery store is really a good option to go once your store has large volumes where you're just placking down 10 shelves or 5 to 10 shelves of each product where you're uh, using the, the volume, the, sale, the sheer sales volume. Here in uh, my scenario here, look at that. I mean, the the success speaks for itself, no? Our profits went up by 500 bucks just by selling these new products, so... It beats the grocery store, sadly. As much as I would like to go into specialization as early as possible, it doesn't seem to pay off in the long run. I don't know why, but that's just the way it uh, seems to be. So, let's check it out. With the shift planning, I also noticed that here in this area, we could use more personnel. So we got in this area, one, two, three, 
four, five, and six people. This is 12 o'clock. Okay, so we could use another cash out. <laughs> so we're growing quite crazily fast at this point, but I do enjoy. That means something is working out here. So I'd say let's give our store one day of just uh, running like we built it without monitoring, without changing too many things and rather think about um, further expansions because I feel like this area here will ultimately be my little Mega Mart here. Expanding the storage into this area and expanding the sales zones up here and into this direction. Leaving this for the administration area. Well, let's see how things will work out from there. Seems like my Sturk, uh, Sturk clocks stock clerks are working out quite nicely here so yeah the logistics upgrade only influences the amount of crates that are deposited in your storage who would have thought certainly not me I thought it would be something about the stuff my stock clerks would be carrying per day too bad okay let's see how this day goes I, I want to see the the potential stability here before I go for any verdict here, but it's looking good. It's looking quite good. So today though has lower sales than yesterday, that's for sure. Only two more hours opened, but nevertheless we're going po into the positives during the last hour. So this day wasn't as powerful as yesterday. We only have a we have a way lower amount of profits, but at the same time, as long as there are profits, I don't want to mutter about that. Okay, so now after these things have been done, let's see, where could I amp up my, my potentials? Frozen veggies seem to be on a way higher demand. Frozen fish is I'm over, is something I'm oversupplying actually. Interesting. Construction toys. The thing is, these items all have fluctuating demands, so it's not always the same. So shaving creams and stuffs are action figures. Jeez. School supplies. Okay. I really think that it might be in it might be time to go for a new more specialized store probably. But what would it, what one uh, which one would that be? I mean there's a butcher shop, grocery store, fast food restaurant, bookstore. Well, certainly not there yet, but a butcher store could be something we could we should be doing let's see fifty percent fresh meat to create a butcher store fish shop okay oh that's a little bit difficult so we would need to create a little store which just doesn't have too much uh, too many costs there hmm that's difficult mostly because I don't want to overstretch my 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 plague budget you know I do have a lot of cash on hand but I've noticed, I've noticed how hard it was to make this shop here profitable on its own. So the question I'm asking myself is how likely will it be to make a new small butcher shop profitable in a low amount of time? I think it's going to be rather unlikely. So probably I want to go for constructing a coffee shop instead. This one is really difficult for me. This one is really difficult for me. 
but at the same time, this shop seems to be stable now. So we could definitely just go for a new shop and say this one is working out, we don't need to change this running system. Let's do this. Let's do this. This is looking really nice. So the, the shop does some profit between 150 to, four, uh, to 500 bucks per day. And that's just what we need to stay afloat for now. Okay, now let's build some foundations. I don't want to be too far away from my home building. So we're going to do a 10 on 10 building here. Yeah, that's what we do. Double door here in the front. Okay, we gotta wait for the re uh, with the rest. Maintenance costs are increasing insanely just with every piece. You can see here how every grid I'm building is increasing my maintenance costs. So, let's see. Can I find another spot for this shelf? That would be really, really good if I could. But it doesn't seem like I do. Okay, then we're going to remove this one. And replace it there. I just want to have one clerk, uh, one staff exit on this side. It'll all make sense in a sec. There we go. And now we're going to do just one checkout counter for now. Here. And fill the rest of the shop with fridges. Right click. Right click was canceling, yes. something like that okay now we have to assign this as a new store and now we need to link this to a storage I'll just use the same storage here because I am absolutely convinced that this will be enough then we're going to extend the times and we're going to hire a cashier Oh, uh, break policies as needed. And you find, sir, well, you don't need to be around all day. You need to be around all day. Now, let's assign this one to fresh meat. So, let's see, that's overall six 10 so we need at least six of these assigned to fresh meat and let's assign well what's there in the food business we can go for some extra milk that sounds good just want to fill up the these slots with something we can actually sell let's see we won't be selling fresh fish in the quality that it's would, would be necessary I don't want to overpack milk at this point here ice cream we can put up another ice cream fridge I like that idea too and frozen veggies I feel like that's also a good thing now, this should be now tier 3 meat. Awesome. Oh, yeah. And that's why we want those extra doors. Looks like my... Oh. Whatever. That doesn't work out as intended. Dang. All right, we researched the coffee shops now. Let's research marketing, shall we? 
Okay. Oh, that's unfortunate with this stock clerk there. Dang. That was certainly not expected from my side there. And this one has to be moved. Er, I want to rotate it. It's so anti-intuitive that rotating... Oh, okay, whatever. It's uh, on the Q button and not on the R button here. So this one... This store didn't do any profits as of yet. Of course not. Here we go. But let's see, so the main store is for sure able to carry my little uh, catastrophe over here, but let's see. The biggest issue about the butcher shop is that the wares have to stay fresh. And they have a rather low time before they go bad, but let's see how things work out now. The first day was a rather bad experience here. So it seems like we don't need that door after all, but well, I didn't expect to be fair. I didn't expect. All right, let's retry. Specialty shops are always kind of a difficult thing for me to, re uh, to, to build up always feel like people are it's really hard to build them up in a uh, in a scale that they that it's uh, worth having them you know well let's see how things work out today so at least there's a constant flow of sales now But our stock, our clerk here has to leave for toilet times too often, and the meat is not really worth anything. Dang. Certainly not how I expected it to be. And that guy is leaving the shop way too often. So. As we see here, we're hardcore overstaffed. And this shop is not working out at all. It's even dragging us down in general. Yeah, specialized shops in this game are really hard to pull off. So. I wonder what would help here. So. I think I, I should uh, do a little bit more of a variety. So six of these. And let's do something like that. Probably gonna hire another janitor here. Just to have a little bit more workforce here. Also during the night times. Okay. Yes, this punches my profits down yet another time, but I feel like it's uh, it should be worth it, you know. It should be somewhat worth it. Yo, janitors, do your thing, please. Okay. Let's check out how things go today. This is still tier three meat. And the other foodstuffs here are uh, are tier twos too. I didn't know that the uh, specialization would upgrade the other items in the, in the store as well. Okay, so there's probably still hope for this little uh, shop here. The restructuring definitely did us some favor here. 
but at the same time the biggest problem here seems to be the toilet breaks he did he takes it's a pity you know I don't want to hire a second cashier just for that but somehow I feel like I have to that's a hassle that's truly a hassle Okay, let's let this run one more day and see how it'll work out. I just don't want to give up on this, you know. So let's check out the demands. So we're not even fulfilling the demands for tier 3 meat fully. So let's... Uh, Let's hire another cashier. And they both are on full time shifts. And we build another checkout counter. Let's try that. I feel like I'm losing most of my sales due to the fact that there's just not enough personnel uh, present at the point at the moment. Okay. Next try. I'm just happy that this store here now is working out. In the worst case scenario, I'll just uh, kick out everything here and uh, retry it then. Let's see, the coffee shop. An order counter, coffee shop counter, cafe table, diner table. I never built up these things before. Alright, let's see how things work out here now. Now, that's what I wanted to see. Whenever there's uh, no uh, cashier present, present, all customers were running out of the shop, and that was quite fatal. But now things seem to work out a lot better. I mean, there's still not too much going on in there. Let's research big data next, or no. Security, that sounds good. The shop here is uh, still quite healthy. So most of the time we're quite hard overstaffed here. I wonder if there's anything I can do marketing wise to increase that. So let's see, marketing, target, product, pick, uh, meat, we need more meat. Campaign type, billboard, minimal, expected sales boost. All right, but the costs won't be really. It's just not kicking it, you know. Anyways, that's enough for this episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I guess we will have to tweak this little shop here a little bit longer. If you have any good ideas on your mind how to do that, I'd be more than eager to listen to that. Because right now I feel like I'm still not sure how I am supposed to do specialty shops in the way that they actually work out. Because for some reason, I got the feeling like, well, we're only on minus 41%. Maybe I just need to be more um, persistent. Who knows? Anyways, thanks for watching. Drop me a comment down below if you have anything on your mind. I'd be more than happy to hear from you. And as usual, leave a thumbs up on that video to make it more visible to the almighty algorithm. And beyond that, feel free to drop a subscription. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.